Now, if you're a regular viewer to our channel, you may remember that about a year ago, we did a podcast discussing our thoughts on the newly released Final Fantasy XV demo. The demo was an extra that was available on Final Fantasy Type-0 for the PS4, which I still have not yet once played. Money well spent. Needless to say, we didn't particularly care for it. And ho ho ho, did we get a fun response. People insulting us, calling us names, insulting the Tales series, wishing death upon us. Oh, the usual. The internet acting like asses. <laughs> well, you smart asses, it turned out we weren't the only ones that felt that way about it. And Square Enix actually listened. They went back to the drawing board, and recently they gave us a small taste of what they've been working on. This is the new Platinum demo for Final Fantasy XV. So, we tried it out and decided to give our thoughts on it. And in short, this was more like it. The demo feels a lot like Kingdom Hearts, mixed with some Knight's Journey of Dreams with a little touch of Alice in Wonderland. We play as the main character, Noct, as he traverses through his dreamscape, led by the most adorable little, uh, whatever this is. But gosh darn it, if it's not the most cutest little animal you've ever seen in your life, I foresee a ton of plushies being made out of this thing. The game is beautiful. A Final Fantasy game with great visuals. And this just in, water is wet. The graphics for Final Fantasy games have never been called into question. It's just been everything else the games have consistently got wrong. So let's get to the meat of this review, the gameplay. Well, it is very closely similar to Kingdom Hearts. Now, is that a bad thing? Oh, of course not. The problem is, by today's standards, the classic turn-based style of RPG games is no longer in style. Oh, 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 we're gonna catch hell for that one! Oh, uh, hell, you know what you just did? I'm going into hiding. Okay, there are games that still use this style, like Bravely Default on the handheld market and Undertale in the independent scene, but Final Fantasy games needed something a little bit more that would get people on board. So, why not copy Kingdom Hearts? Nobody ever complains about that. I mean, except when it comes to release dates, in which, hurry up, damn it! As you go through the environment, you'll come face to face with creatures that look like transparent heartless. There, you'll engage in your typical hack and slash fare. You can dodge roll out of the way, block and attack with your weapons. You can equip weapons to the D-pad, allowing you to switch out between normal weapon, heavy weapon, and projectiles. Now when you're running around the dream world, there will be all sorts of different platforms stationed on the floor, and when you step on them, they will have different effects. Some change the weather, others speed up time, and some transform you into different things, like a truck. And this thing. Hey, it's Bambi on steroids. Ha-ha! I am the lord of the forest! Fear my wrath! Ha-ha! Some of the panels on the floor are locked off, and only by collecting enough of this golden stuff, which you can find by exploring the levels, will unlock more of them as you progress. Doing so can even get you better weapons, so yeah, check it out. At the end of the demo, we face off against a giant boss, where we transform into our adult form. Here, our little friend, who has acted as our guide up at this point, shows that he can assist in battle. And we have a new move, a warp attack that we can use to teleport towards the enemy and slash away. Ha-ha! Take that, vile heathen! I shall run you through with my blade! Come at me, bro, and I shall give you a swift end! Ah, well that was fun. Overall, we really enjoyed this gameplay style. Although, we still have issues with the camera. When in combat, it still feels a little too close to our hero, and it can get pretty disorientating. We would have preferred that as soon as the battles happened, the camera would get pushed back away from the action so that the player could get a full glimpse of the surrounding area. But fortunately, there is a lock-on function where you can focus on a specific enemy, and that actually does help quite a bit. The music in this game so far is very haunting, very serene, and also kind of sad. It feels very much like Crisis Core and Birth by Sleep. And if that is any indication, when this game comes out, we better have some tissues on standby. Yes, 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 yes. We are gigantic Tales fans. The biggest on YouTube. But we're still also fans of the Final Fantasy series, and we want to see them do well too. Nowadays, people think that you're only allowed to like one thing. DC or Marvel, Star Wars or Star Trek, etc. Which is utter nonsense and needs to stop. When we first played the demo last year, we gave you our honest thoughts. And we're giving them to you now. We are encouraged by what we see. Now again, this is just a short preview. 
we're going to have to wait and see what the rest of the game looks like. But what we can say is, based on this, we are looking forward to it. As per usual, this is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, so if you have one, check it out. This demo does indeed make us look forward to the future. Now considering that the whole demo took place within the dream realm of the main character, it is very difficult to say whether or not the experience of the full game will be the same. However, we do have to say, if it is an expansion of what we just played, there will be very little to complain about in the final product. Only time will tell, and hopefully in the end, our wait will be worth it. Well guys, thank you once again for joining the Brotherhood of Gaming video game show. I'm your host, William Morris. I'm your co-host, Eugene Morris. Now be sure to join us next time when we review the full game of Final Fantasy XV and give it our full thoughts. Meantime, you can check out our other great videos such as the speedruns, the retrospectives, all that cool stuff over there. And look, there's a subscribe button right down there. See, you really should click this. It's awesome. It's awesome here.